Hello guys and welcome to the weekly asset roundup with me, Pug Game. And firstly, a big apology for last week's miss of a show. There was a lot on my end in terms of work activity. But we're back, we have some beautiful assets and wait till the end, there's something special. Let's do this. And to kick off the show this week, we have the camping car by Dub. Now if you're looking to create your own campsite or anything along those sort of lines, Dub is the man. If you check out his workshop, he's released a number of amazing assets and props which will work perfectly in this sort of design. The ATM pack by Akpuleko really caught my eye on the workshop this week. They are so detailed, they look just like what, I'm ex well, what I tend to see every day at cash point machines. And what I like about this design is you can have it on its own standalone or you can embed it inside a building so you just see the front panel. Beautiful asset for your prop collection. Next up we have the Monroe Plaza by Honka. And what I do love about this creator is he really is pushing the boundaries on what type of designs that he's releasing. These are beautiful. The design itself is very unique, the little round circle on the front underneath the reception area looks sensational. And the buildings in general from everyone have really, really been pushed up in terms of the bar itself and we are looking forward to a lot more fantastic and unique designs. Talking of fantastic designs, we have King Leno with the closed Sears. And what I do love about everything that King Leno does, it's not just the buildings themselves, but look at these textures. He's even done textures for the signs that have been taken off the building. The actual design itself is fantastic, but look at it. I just love the texturing that this guy does. Every asset he releases, it's always, always been featured. He is a brilliant creator. It's about time that we had some new Mediterranean based assets on the workshop and again, Apicello has done it greatly. You can always tell for the Mediterranean buildings with these lovely beautiful bright orange roofs but the buildings themselves can certainly be used in a number of different ways. And there's been a number of assets released this week by this creator and we are looking forward to seeing where this goes. Reminds me very much of what Dub was like a few months back. Up next we have the Perla Residential Complex by Mr Poopy Pants. And from my understanding this is the first actual large complex building that Mr Poopy Pants has done. And it's a great one, it's a fantastic one to start off, a very complex one for a, uh, a first release but nonetheless fantastic design. Looking forward to a lot more from this creator. And next we move on to one of the creator gods, it's Ronix, and this week he brings us the piles. And no, I don't mean the medical term, I mean piles of different colours of dirt. So whether this dirt is for your construction site, or a rundown area, or even for your desert island, these are beautiful for that. Up next we have the Dubai Opera House and Shops by Suron. Now these are sensational. Any building that has glass inside always catches my eyes, but the detail of this and how it looks is magical. Now this creator has never disappointed on any of his builds and the amount of time he spends on them looks like it could be even months, but these are a great asset to have in your high complex zones. Something to make as a focal point or just to show how modernised your city is. Nighttime views, again, sensational. I do love a bit of glass. And up next we have the return of Lumino, and this is the Science Centre. 
a very, very unique type of building. Almost looks futuristic, it's not one that I've come across personally, but would really suit a city that's very modernized or if you're looking to create your own futuristic city. Next up we have the Asara Residential Buildings by the one and only Beard Monkey. Now I'm sure you're all following the beautiful series by Skibifen $2.20. This is Beard Monkey's buildings for that. I've tried my best to attempt to show off the creativity by putting some sand down but I'll let those two guys really make these pop. But we're really lucky that these creators are building buildings in a very different way. My golden find for the week has been these Japanese construction packs by Takashi. Now we all love building a building site and these props really will make their area pop. I love these blue sheets and how see through they are. Brilliant work, can't wait to use them. And last but not least we have this beautiful model by Beswickenhausen. It's the Ocean View Limited Passenger Train. Now there's always been something about an old steam train and certainly with the effects on in game that really catches my eye but this model is sensational and you knew if you're interested I'll drop a link in the description below where you can see this train transform itself in one of his videos. Now I'm always excited to see what's next from this creator and the trains and planes are really his expertise. Even the nighttime views, look how realistic this looks. I love the front lights on the train itself. We are very, very grateful for these beautiful, beautiful trains and we look forward for more. So guys, that brings us to the end of this week's Asset Roundup. As always, please leave your comments below let the creators know your thoughts on their models and give inspiration for new ideas and what you'd like to see next on the workshop. But as for me, 
thank you very much for watching if you haven't already please subscribe and like the video if you did so until next time all the best Thank <laughs> you.